Hello guys, fellow crypto enthusiasts, welcome back to Technonator channel. I'm here today, I've got an exciting and helpful video for all the Ledger Nano S owners out there. As you can see, this is trusty hardware wallet has been with me through the thick and thin. But recently, I encountered an issue that many of you might have faced too. The screen went dark and it's hard to see anything, especially under uh, bright daylight conditions. So I'm going to show you. So, so actually the screen is working, but the, it's, uh, it's going to dark and you can't see uh, in the uh, daylight conditions. But if you, uh, if you use your phone camera and then you can see the screen actually is working so yeah we need to get dark but yeah when you when you yeah Yes, you can see. So the screen actually working, but the brightness is not enough to see. So, uh, what I will show you today. So, I ordered a new screen from AliExpress. I will show. The, I will uh, put the links uh, URLs in the description later. So I walk you through a step by step guide on how to replace the screen on your Ledger Nano S. It's an easy fix that I'll have your hardware wallet looking as good as new. Let's start how to fix the Ledger Nano S uh, screen problem, how to replace the Nano S screen. So first of all, I'm going to start to remove that part. And, and I'm going to start removing from that part because there is a sensitive uh, electronic components here so being gentle and careful is the very important
so I'm going so um, this is the screen connector then if you when you plop this part of connector you can see we can and if you remove then you can remove the uh, screen from the circuit yes this is the OLED screen so this is new screen I ordered from the Aliexpress and I removed the protection cover so before the uh, assembly we should check the screen is working or not so let's see if it's working or not yeah it's working as you can see Then we can start to reassemble. Actually, I'm going to use a paper sticker. I'm using this because the I want to protect the circuit from any damage when the installing during the installation. So this is um, yeah, this is new one and. Maybe removing this better than having this. yeah so we need to open that the socket and then 
we have to And all done, so it fits perfectly. Then I need to check again is working or not. The buttons are working. Then we have to just we need to close the yeah. working yeah it's like brand new uh, thank you for watching so I showed you guys so the how to replace nano s uh, OLED screen easily so Thank you for watching.